Paddle shifters, in some form or fashion, are making their way into many newer car models. For a technology that began in Formula One racing, why is it now making its way into tiny Fiats? For the most part, manual transmissions are dead. Their death has been caused by highly efficient automatic transmissions and the implementation of paddle shifters. Ferrari introduced paddle shifters in 1990 in their F1 race cars, and every racing team soon followed. Paddle shifters allowed the racers to focus more on driving rather than spending time shifting. In the frame of racing, paddle shifting can shave off seconds of a car's lap time when compared to manual transmissions. It was a no-brainer in the racing fields to make the shift. Now, most automotive manufacturers seem to be leaning the same way as well. For the most part, you can't buy a supercar that is a manual transmission in a new model year. Lamborghini officially made the switch in 2004, and now, 16 years removed, nearly all supercars are made with paddle shifters combined with automatic transmissions. For anyone that has driven a manual transmission, myself included, you likely realize that manuals shine in highway settings and where you can really lay it all out there, but it can get pretty annoying if you're stuck in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic in the city. Paddle shifters give you the driving fun on the highway to be able to control your power. However, when it comes to city driving, you can simply switch into automatic mode and let the car do most of the work. Enough of trying to sell you on paddle shifters, though. How exactly do they work? Paddle shifters in the traditional sense are installed right behind the steering wheel. There are many deviations from this that involved a manual paddle shifting mode, which actually most modern cars have at least that function. With that said, paddle shifters essentially trigger an automatic transmission to switch gears. In theory, it turns an automatic transmission into a more manual one in terms of functionality. The main advantages presented by paddle shifters are that of safety and controllability. In terms of safety, the computer system behind the paddle shifters automatically switch gears if your engine gets to redline before you signal to shift. This means no messing up your transmission accidentally. Paddle shifters also give cars with automatic transmissions the capability to engine brake or downshift to slow the car. This combines the efficiency of automatics with the fun of manual. When manual transmissions aren't fun, in the city or in traffic, you can stop using the paddle shifters and switch into automatic mode. This is particularly useful for supercars, but also with everyday cars as well. The manual supercars of past had very heavy clutches and were made to be driven fast, not in the city. That meant that city driving was a nightmare. Paddle shifters solve these problems by circumventing the downfalls of manuals in city driving and offering the controllability of manuals in highway driving. Many still lament the downfall of the manual transmission. That loss is largely spurned more by emotion and feel than it is by the actual practicality and engineering benefit of paddle shifters coupled with automatic transmissions. Automatic transmissions have been proven time and time again to be far faster than their manual counterparts. It's a hard truth to swallow though, I agree as a car guy myself, but it's the state of modern automotive engineering. Paddle shifters have worked their way into many modern cars simply because they offer up fun driving modes for car lovers and the safety and efficiency of the automatic transmission. The science behind them is fairly simple. The reasoning behind their implementation is fairly practical. But that doesn't make the loss of manual transmissions any harder for those with a healthy dose of nostalgia about the days of cars past. So that's how paddle shifters came from F1 racing all the way down into tiny little Fiats.